All right, everybody. So today I started my day off with a nice walk in the sunshine with my beautiful girlfriend. So get that vitamin D, boys. All right, then I made my way over to the gym, snacking on my protein bar. This is the first thing I ate today. So I'm going to be breaking down a nice meal prep recipe for you guys later. But in the meantime, we are hitting arms today. So I like to start things off with some heavy tricep dips. I feel like this is a really good way to overload the muscles and get yourself some fatigue early on in the workout. And from here, I'm moving right into the Arnold Press. I like this variation just because you can hit the mid delt in addition to the front delt. So just really good for overall mid front development. Um, who cares about rear delts? <laughs> and then right here, moving on to an incline dumbbell hammer curl. So I could actually in incline this seat a little further back, um, <laughs> but I didn't. So that's all we got today. But little variation of an exercise to isolate the the biceps and finishing up with a cross body curl here so this is bicep exercise number two again just another curl variation and this one I, I can't really film this one too easy by myself so i actually put it on the stack so any of you gym boys out there looking to film content try it out this uh, did not come out super well, so, <laughs> oh well. Hope you still enjoyed the exercise. And finishing up with a variation of lateral raise using kettlebells. I actually like the kettlebells because I feel like it just makes the whole thing a little bit heavier because the weight is below your hand. So that's a little bit of an arm workout for you guys to follow along with. And then I went right outside. We're going to do a little bit of tricking here in a second, so hope you enjoy watching me do some flips. So I'm going to be taking you through a super easy three ingredient crock pot meal prep recipe that you can use for meals throughout the week. And basically it's super low in calories, super high in protein, not like the most Gordon Ramsay of all dishes, but you know what, especially if you're cutting, it's going to do the job. So let's just get right into how to do it. First off, you're going to need to make sure you get a nice size crock pot. This is a little bit big, but make sure you got one of these bad boys and you don't even have to do the cooking. Next up, you need an onion. I'm using red, but you can use whatever you want. Peel it, dice it. Oh, man, that one got me bad. Then you're gonna take your onion, dump it. All right, so we've got our onion cut up. Next, you're gonna need three nicely sized chicken breasts. And that's what I mean when I say nice. All right, first thing, make sure you clean it up. Then you're gonna take your chicken, lay it right in there. And boom, just like that. Now we've got our three pieces of chicken. Those are all very good sized like pieces. I mean, they're almost the size of my hand. A whole onion diced up and the last ingredient. One container of hot sauce. This is just the Walmart brand. <laughs> Pop that baby. Ugh. Now let me show you a little hack for this. We wanna pour out the whole thing, but getting it through that little opening is gonna be hard. Take a knife or fork right in that little slot. Bam. All right, time to pour it in. Try to get a nice like even coating everywhere. I mean, it's all gonna get absorbed, but generally I like to save a little bit left at the bottom and just like see how well it does. If it looks like it's a little bit dry towards the end and it needs more, I'll dump the rest in. Then you're gonna close that bad boy up and we're gonna set it to high. Let that baby cook for three hours on a high. That's right, three hours on high. You don't have to touch it, don't have to do anything. I'm gonna go run some errands and hit a workout in a little bit. Just let this puppy go. If you wanna spice it up, you can also get a packet of ranch seasoning and throw that in there or any other spices you want. Right now I'm kinda short on time and supplies, so three ingredients, super simple. I'm gonna show you the rest in a little bit. Three hours and then we're gonna come back, shred it up, add any more hot sauce if it needs it. All right, y'all, so as you can see, it's been a few days, got a little trim. So I showed you how to make the meal prep, and now I'm gonna dish out a serving of it, break down the macros for you, show you how you can make it taste the best possible. All right, so here's our container. 
full of that buffalo chicken. You can see the juices are just marinating. It makes it taste even better. Grab yourself a plate. Take out one of your Joseph's pitas. These things are 60 calories with six grams of protein for the whole thing. Grab a little pizza cutter. Just one pass. Bam. There you go. Now basically we're going to open this guy up. So just be careful that you don't have any tears in there. But that's what it looks like. We're going to take our buffalo chicken mixture. Put some in there. All right. We got our two buffalo chicken pitas. And we're going to add some toppings. Get yourself some crumbled blue cheese just like that. All I do is take a little bit. Dump it in there. You don't need a ton. One serving of this is about a quarter cup, so we're putting like eighth a cup in each of these. All right, and last step, we're gonna take some hot sauce. Take our pita, a little bit of hot sauce. Doesn't that look delicious? And then cheers. And that's basically a whole week's worth of meal prep, guys. Now for the two of these pitas, that whole plate right there, I'm gonna list the calories, macros right here. <clears throat> so roughly like, you're looking at 300 calories and like 30 plus grams of protein. For one whole pita stuffed with chicken, cut it in half, some blue cheese on there. It's a great meal. If you're trying to get shredded, definitely recommend you make this. It's literally so easy. Again, all you need is like those three ingredients. If you want to add some more like seasonings and stuff, totally recommend it. I put like ranch packets in there before, but I was lazy today. Now in terms of taste, this isn't going to be the most Gordon Ramsay of all dishes, but it's a solid like five, five and a half out of 10. Like it doesn't taste the best. It definitely doesn't taste bad, but you know, it's gonna hit the spot if you're hungry. Totally macro friendly, tons of protein, low in calories. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this meal prep recipe. If you wanna see more like low calorie, high protein, summer shredding meal preps, make sure you let me know in the comments down below because I make a ton of different things. Um, so let me know if you guys wanna see another recipe video like this and I'll be sure to do that. Otherwise, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Just about 2,000 subscribers. Can't thank you guys enough for the support. We're gonna do a live Q&A when we hit 2K. So go tell your mom, your grandma, your grandpa, your aunt and uncle, go subscribe. Ninja Attic because I appreciate it. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace out.